A contender for our best fast car award, it is of course Ford's new GT. Designed to bring back happy memories of their GT40, blowing away Ferrari and all at Le Mans some 40 years ago. With the rights to that original model sold on long ago, they can't use the same name, but that doesn't stop them using the same jaw-dropping shape. Just 28 are being sold direct to the UK, and with a price tag of £120,000, it looks set to make a tidy profit for any of the honoured few who might be tempted to sell them on. First impressions? Well, the cockpit is very wide and the steering wheel pleasantly small. Brilliant though that engine may sound from the outside, in here you can hardly hear it at all and I wanted a throaty V8 pulsing away behind me. I wanted my GT to be a more brutal experience because it looks a brutal car. But perhaps I'm being too critical. After all, this Ford GT was designed not for racing, but for everyday use. But like the original, the GT still manages to capture your heart in a different way. It's more masculine, more purposeful, more in your face. It's American. And with 550 horsepower on tap from its supercharged V8, it'll take you to 205 miles an hour, just five short of the original Le Mans races. Out on the smooth Silverstone racing circuit, I can finally appreciate the sounds of that engine behind me. No longer are my ears bombarded by nasty, ripping, thumping noises from the road beneath me. But my problem really with this car is the characteristics of a supercharged engine. The thing about a supercharged engine, it just pushes all the time through the entire rev band, masses of torque. Whereas if you want a bit more character of my engine, I love a normally aspirated engine which has a surge of power in the middle of the revs and then a peak of power right at the top end. Here, you've just got power, power, and more power. I wanted the GT to be more of what the GT40 was. More muscular, more edgy, more of a real driver's car. Of course, I'd love one. It ticks most of the right boxes. It really does relive the dream. But if I had to choose where to spend my 120 grand, the Ford GT gets beaten by the very mark that the GT40 was created to beat. Ferrari.